This is the backstory for uh, my entry to Blender Challenge 9, Lost Treasure. Uh, I had asked if people would uh, put a bit of a backstory uh, on, uh, on the renders. So uh, here we go. So the idea here that I came up with was there was this mythical place called Lilianthos, named it after my daughter Lily. And here's a map, and this shows uh, Lilianthos here. All right, and this would be the location of the, the the lost treasure. And here we have some photographs of some of the items uh, at Lilianthus. This I called the never empty treasure chest. When riches are removed from this chest and the lid is closed, they're completely replenished the next time the lid is open. So you open it up, take stuff out, close it up. Next time you open it, it's full again. Wouldn't that be nice? This is the coin of great wealth. It's worth far more than any other form of money. A single coin can purchase any item in the world. So you want a jet airplane? Here's, here's a coin. You can buy 20 of them. And of course you go back to the treasure chest and it's filled. So you're wealthy. That's the lost treasure for you. I call this thing scent of angels. When incense is burned in this, it attracts the angels and repels the evil spirits. This is a healing gemstone. Holding this gemstone in the palm of the hand releases powerful healing forces that travel throughout the body. So you can be perfectly healthy forever. This is the goblet of youth, sipping wine or Coca-Cola or even juice. From this goblet reverses all the ravages of aging and returns the strength and vitality of youth. This is the pot of plenty. Anything placed into this pot is multiplied many times, so there'll always be plenty. So you put something in, whatever it is, your Led Zeppelin DVDs, and multiplied. You get a bunch of them. You get all the House of the Holy, physical graffiti, everything. Pink Floyd, too. This is the invincible shield. This shield can withstand the fire of a dragon, the fist of a giant, and any other natural or supernatural force that it encounters. And it looks a little bit like it's encountered a few forces. And finally, this is the Sword of Friendship. When this sword is used to slay a dragon, the dragon is instantly reborn and will remain a faithful friend for eternity. So, kill the dragon, it's your buddy now. Because it's the Sword of Friendship. Alright, time to look at a few renders. I've got, uh, I got nine of them here. So, Lost Treasure Lilianthus, uh, this is a view from uh, sort of an orthographic view uh, with a transparent uh, background, so it looks like it's night. I could have done a lot more uh, on all of this, but time was running short and energy was running short. I did not have the Goblet of Youth with me uh, or the, the Healing Gems. But anyways, here's a, here's a first view of it. Um, this one does have the HDRI uh, in the background. I've got some uh, sunbeams that I did in uh, compositing and tried to get them to come through the window and land on the floor. So hopefully it looks uh, looks all right. It's, I don't know, early morning kind of. Sun's a little bit high. I wanted the candles and the sun uh, working together if at all possible. All right, this beam was always uh, problematic but uh, I decided I would leave it in because it sort of supports the rest of the structure here. Uh, I wanted a little bit of, of that there so it would be a little bit bright at that spot. And then you can see the, the, uh, all the gems and coins on the floor, etc. All right, here's another view through the front door just showing the uh, never, empty, never empty treasure chest, the goblet of youth. Pot of Plenty, what do we got? Uh, Scent of Angels, Invincible Shield, Sword of Friendship. And I just like the sort of bloom on the, on the candle with the sunlight there. Um, there were too many different angles I could really uh, take of this thing. So uh, there's a, a little bit of repetition here, but just another one. This is one of my more favorite shots because it focuses on the chest and all the sort of main items uh, here. I, my goal had been to fill this up with all kinds of, of things, but yeah, it is what it is. Okay, and it's just coming a little closer to the, to the sword and to these um, gems, jewelry or whatever. 
this is a view out the other side uh, looking like it's sort of morning at 11 a.m. in the morning or so and uh, just I wanted to get another shot of, uh, of this with different lighting and I do like this one sort of looking out at the the ocean or the beach or whatever uh, with the flames with a nice nice bloom uh, volumetrics uh, going on there as well and uh, just uh, from low down on the ground and that's the final render there it looks like it's uh, nighttime again although we've got some light so maybe this is moonlight now um, okay anyways that's uh, that's Lilianthos and the lost treasure I really enjoyed working on uh, this challenge and thank you very much for watching the series take care everybody see you again soon